Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X Ultimate Swatter. So let's begin by exiting here for a sec. And we're gonna go all the way down here. And we're talking to Rin after. Because we're gonna buy some items off him, like Antidotes and Phoenix Downs. And we want to talk to Donna here. So she wants to know what we think about her giving up her pr pilgrimage. I'm gonna say, who cares? Sure. And let's go back, right back to the main airship here. After rescuing Yuna, then what? You want to keep her safe? Correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course! If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she will die. Sure as if you killed her yourself. No harebrained law or teaching can send my little niece to her death. When I save her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. Even against her will? Better than a dog's death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree! You are the captain. Good! Then it's settled. Okay, so now let's go all the way down here and talk to brother. Vitrana! Vitrana! Effin Kruf! Yuna! Where was that? The Palace of St. Bavel, heart of Yevon. Gramps, let's move! Easy, kiddo. Bavel's defenses are top-notch. What's the matter, Gramps? You scared? Yuna's there, so we go and get her! And that's all! <laughs> you got guts? Carlo Inca do Babel! Fim, come up, you read! Luca! It'll take a while to get to Babel. Meanwhile, we prepare for battle! Alright, so after this scene, let's go uh, save our game. And let's leave here. We are being attacked from within. Some of the guado that attacked home must have snuck on board. You're awfully calm about it. I am calm about most things. Fiends, there's nothing to do but... But destroy the ship and all go down together. Huh? <sighs> you gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. If you crash the ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Leave the fiends to us professionals. Yeah, let's go! Thanks! Riku, you've made some very good friends, I think. Good luck. Okay, so we can only get one item here. But before we get it, first we're gonna talk to Rin. So let's got any items. And let's buy some high potion. Actually, no, we can steal more of those. Phoenix Downs, we need tons of those actually you know what let's just go 86 of them antidotes let's stock up on 99 of them might as well all right so that's all i'm getting from red for now so let's leave there okay so let's go all the way down uh battle to um, okay i'm gonna steal from these guys i actually plan on doing uh, quite a bit of stealing in this episode uh, i'm gonna start by always we want to start by using slow go first i'm gonna switch out this for a walk out here put one of them to sleep maybe oh no i didn't mean to kill it I didn't realize they were so weak. Okay, let's get Riku. I want to steal from these guys. I plan on stealing lots of those musks. I'll be doing some grinding off camera, and then I'll start my walkthrough back up again. Okay, so after that, we go to the next screen here. Come up here and grab a L-bed potion from this guy. Times four. And let's just get a cutscene for this uh, really, really quick. Wow, that's huge! What is that? The Guardian Worm, Evray. The Great Sacred Beast. Protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me! We're gonna fight that thing! Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! There he goes again! The ferryman asks a high price. Okay, so after we touch it written here, we're gonna go right back and save our game. Alright, now. Save our game. And okay, so I want you guys to steal this episode. Check the description box. You wanna steal the musks? From those evil eyes, you want to steal the bomb cores 
from the bombs. So let me get into an, some more random encounters here. Okay guys, so here's um what, what I want you to do now. Make sure that once you're done stealing the bomb cores from the bombs and the musks from the evil eyes. I have 99 bomb cores now. I'm not sure how much musks I stole. Okay, so I have 38 musks. I could probably use a lot more of those, but it's fine for now. And there's my bomb core, 99. So here's what I want you guys to do now. I want you guys to learn, um, at least learn slice and dice and possibly ener energy ring if you want to put in the extra time. Okay, so to learn slice and dice, you need to use spi spiral cut 10 times and you need to be successful at it. So you need the, the great option to pop up. So do that 10 times with spiral cut and you'll learn slice and dice. And then um, now the fastest way to do this is by using the loner set mode. So this is going to be the easiest way to do it. And I'll show you guys just how fast you can get this right now. Okay, so here I am in battle right now. Basically, I used my characters to kill two bombs and just get one bomb left, and then I killed them. So once you once they die, they come back in battle again, but they're gonna have one HP, so they're easy to kill at that point. So basically, here's what we're gonna do. Now for loner, you need to keep, you want to slow the monster down, as well as haste the character that, that you want to, to learn the loner overdrive set mode. So I have set mode loner on Tidus right now, and I'm going to show you just how fast this goes. So I think he's already haste. No, he's not. Okay. The monster is slowed already, so I'm just going to cast haste on Tidus now. And watch how fast. Look how, how much that jumped up. So keep watching the bottom bar. Every time I guard, look, every turn I get, it, and he learned a new ability alley while doing that. Anyways, one more. And look at that. There's my full bar, and now I can use whatever ability, whatever overdrive ability here that I want, and I can keep do doing this over and over. And also, the fastest way to do this is um, once you use your overdrive ability, make sure to throw a um, high potion to heal the monster. So that way, you never have to keep killing your guys over and over and over and over again. You can just focus on doing this. Now I don't recommend, well actually, I think it's fine to do, to do this on the bombs because um, anytime you use an overdrive ability, the bombs don't grow bigger. So it should be perfectly fine. Let me just slow, slow this down here. There, that's normal speed now. I had it on fast mode. Okay, so this is normal speed. So I'm just gonna show you an example. Once I attack it and get great. There, great. So that's a successful that counts as a successful attempt. Now, make sure that your you heal the bomb right back to full HP. So it might it might take like two high potions maybe, depending on, on how much HP you did to the to the bomb. An easy way to check its HP is to take up is to check how much damage you're doing, and have a sensor on. So let me just see what HP it has right now. So it's down to 464 HP. So I'm just gonna throw it a high potion. I'm gonna speed this up here, and while while my bar is going up, I'm just gonna throw another high potion. So I'm not wasting. I'm not really wasting any time. I mean, I mean, it's better to do that to do it this way than it is to get into random counters all the time. Have to get one monster alive, kill all your guys again. This is way faster to do it this way. So you just keep repeating this over and over and over until you eventually learn the next overdrive ability for Titus. Anyways, let me put my spheres in and then I'm going to start my walkthrough once I'm done putting my spheres in. Okay, so as I'm going around with Titus here, you're going to have an option to break the level 2 key sphere and actually go on Yuna's path, but I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going around Titus's path here because I want to make my way all the way down towards learning Hastaga. So let me continue doing this. And I'm by the end of this, I will have the ability Delay Buster learned. So with Orin, I am about to learn Armor Break here. So that's Orin's grid for now. And with Riku, we have the option of breaking level 2 key sphere and going on Lulu's grid for fire, thunder, and all that uh, good stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to stick to Riku's path here because I want Mug and I just want to continue around her path because her, her path is better. Hey, there's Mug. Now we can do damage and steal at the same time. Okay, so I'm done uh, Riku's grid here. Let me move on to Lulu. Okay, so new ability learned for Lulu, Danny. And I'm gonna move on this grid here now. All the way down here. I'm gonna start learning uh, Lulu's 
best uh, elemental abilities. Okay, and there's Kamari's grid. Still in the same uh, grid as Riku here. And okay, new ability learned for Waka, Silence Buster. So that's everything for my grid. Let me see my game. And let's run all the way to the elevator here. And go all the way up. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start with uh, slow on the boss first because he is susceptible to it. Wait, I missed! Oh my god, well that's a good start, isn't it? Okay, well, you know what, let's mix and we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use an HP sphere and, and a fortune sphere here to create the miracle drink. So, if you're wondering what this does, it gives you a, high, a very high chance to deal critical damage which is used for Fertitas and Orin. And um, yeah, let me see if this is gonna work now. Don't be a prick, come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna lower his, I'm gonna start by lowering his magic attack. I wonder, he's immune to that? Slow him down, come on, Titus. There, we got it, successful. Let's start with a mug. Water gem times two. Orin got nailed hard. Okay, so haste up Orin. Let's go with another bug. Water gem again, nice. How about... Uh, let's try armor break, is he susceptible to that? Yeah, oh he's immune to it. Look at 2205 damage, that's pretty good damage, eh? For being low level. So you know what, let's go, no let's go normal attack here. 690. And I'll try delay attack. 2644 and just for shits here I'll just go power break hey he's not immune to that 2205 so we're doing lots of damage already because of that miracle drink that I love man that, that's so good it makes it so much easier to use that so we have to pull back soon because uh, well once he starts uh, once he starts roaring up in the air that's when we're gonna pull back let's go with another another mug attack we might as well water gem we got out of it there, this is what we have to be careful for. So his next attack is going to be a poison breath attack. But now what I want to do is use an outbed potion, heal my guys up here. And we'll just attack with Orin. Give him another mug. I wish Riku was a little bit stronger. And we'll go delay buster here. It greatly delays his attack. So yeah, I should have been using that for- oh shit. Okay, he's just casting haste. I think I can counter that with slow though. I think I can recast slow on him, so I'm going to try it in a second. Let me attack him. Mug. Attack. Uh oh. We're gonna have to pull back. Uh, this might be too late though. Shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am too late. Uh, we're gonna have to take the damage. I'm too late. I should have pulled back. Oh well. We'll take the damage. Come on. Go ahead. Use it. Okay, that's not, that wasn't so bad actually. I need Riku to get her turn, so what I'm gonna do is this attack. And Orange's dead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, let me use uh, Albert Potion. This is what I w originally wanted to use. Let me fast speed this up a little bit. Get the attacks off, come on. Okay, there we go. So, I have enough here to bring back bring back Orin here. He's about to use Poison Breath, okay, good to know. Here's where we're gonna do a pullback. Go back. And um, the airship can can use guided missiles, so we'll get some extra damage on them from that as well. Sid's, Sid's turn is next, as you can see from the turn command. Let's go ahead and use an Albed Potion here, just to be safe. Hold on. I'm gonna start using overdrives now, in just a second. Okay, he missed me because we pulled back. So with Riku here now, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna move in. And I want to get ready to use an overdrive soon. But first, uh, can I even reach him? Let me see if slow, slow will reach him. It worked! 
Success. So now he's slower. So that haste effect that he used is now gone. Wait, what's he doing? I was trying to move it. Oh, that wasn't so bad. He tickled me. Cool. Bam. Uh-oh. Miracle Drink Warrior? No, don't cast it again. You bum. Attack. Delay Buster. Yeah, 2477. Bam. And again. Bam. Oh, because Orin died, that's why. If, if your character dies, the Miracle Drink wears off. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's pull back. <laughs> now you can't get me bit. Oh, shit. Now he's cheating. Now he just does that shit now. Oh, well. Yeah, a bit potion. Yeah, he's gonna use poison attack, but you know what? I'm gonna start using my Gushido here. Shooting star, here we go. I don't remember the commands for this, I don't use it too much. Yeah, still did pretty good. Overkill! We got it. And that's the boss. Crude! Run your Mukek Buffon! Well! A cop of hell! <laughs>